this is I do damage and welcome back to the channel in this Wilson Lords of Mayhem video I wanted to do a follow-up video and if you're not aware the game has been delayed by two weeks the original launch date for Wilson Lords of Mayhem was supposed to be January 30th 2020 they delayed it by two weeks until February 13th this does not come as a surprise to me and we'll jump into more of it in the video here but first I want to remind everyone I do stream on Twitch every Monday Wednesday Friday and Saturday Hopefully I'll be lucky enough to catch you there sometime. Also, if you do enjoy the content here on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell so you can get notified when I post new videos every Monday and Friday. We just hit 400 subscribers as of recording this video, so thank you guys. I'm so happy for that milestone. Now let's go ahead and talk Wilson Lords of Mayhem. First of all, all along on my streams and on my videos, I've been saying that Wilson Lords of Mayhem felt kind of rushed and I know that's really strange to say since they've already had tons of delays and it's been a really long time you're probably thinking like how is it rushed man they've had all these delays and all this time since the alpha and and all the way until now it's been over three years I believe and what I say by rushed is when they went into the beta on steam they had planned out three content patches content patch one we got and then content patch two, which was the Wrath of Sarasol mode that we got. That was the most recent update that you can actually go play at the time of recording this video. But we never actually got content patch three. And when I say I felt the game was rushed, that's what I'm talking about. They never delivered that content patch three. I think in my opinion, they should delay the game, deliver content patch three, allow it to be tested live, and make sure all the critical bugs are ironed out before releasing the game into a full release and increasing the price on top of that. Content Patch 3 was supposed to bring a lot of new content with it and just the fact that none of that's been tested live makes me slightly uncomfortable. I hope they have enough in-house testers that they're actually really testing this thing and really putting their nose to the grinding stone and getting everything resolved because if they increase that price and release the game on February 13th and still have tons of game breaking bugs that's not going to look good for Wilson. You already have people that are not happy with all the changes from alpha to the beta and how it's really a different game. And releasing the game is really the first impression for any newcomers or people that have been maybe waiting to get the game and watching coverage like this video. And I will say all around, I am skeptical for Wilson Lords of Mayhem, but as you know, I've been following the game ever since it was kickstarted under the name Ombra. And I'm hopeful for the game, but I'm cautious. So we're just going to have to see. I would honestly not be surprised if there was yet another delay. And I would be happy. Like, please take your time if you're listening to me. Just please take your time with this game. I know you've taken a lot of time already. A little bit more time won't hurt, in my opinion. You want to make that solid first impression. Anyway, I know I, I kind of rambled a little bit there, but I truly feel passionate about this game, and I really want the best for Wolves and Lords of Mayhem. We need a solid ARPG, am I right? <laughs> Last part I want to talk about is some of the features that were in Alpha, they skipped out on the beta in what we have right now, and I kind of hope that they reappear in the full release version. This Number one, main one I want to talk about is the open world type of feel where you can encounter random dungeons out in the world. And they showed these off in a Steam post a while ago. And I really hope that they can reiterate them into the actual game and make it feel more open world instead of just linear that we've had discussions about in the past. Anyway, from the alpha to the beta to full release, they have a lot to prove. They have many fans that have been waiting and very, very patient for this game. I hope the best for Wilson. Overall, I'm excited for all the changes and all the content that's coming in 2020. Just a reminder, if you didn't check that video out, it is down in the description just for you. I'm excited for Wilson. I think you should be too. Let me know, is this a game that you already have wishlisted? Have you already purchased it before the price increase? Are you on board with me and think maybe they should delay it a little bit longer and make sure everything's really ironed out and ready for an actual launch? Anyway, I know this video was short, but I want to thank you guys for helping me hit the 400 subscriber mark on YouTube. Thank you for everyone's continued support and being a part of this community. As always, thanks for watching. We'll chat soon.